Hi, I'm Maya and I'm your yoga teacher for today. You are me here, so that means we're going to practice yoga together. Uh, morning practice for a whole body wake up the, the main group of the muscles, joints, and we're going to stretch everything. Um, this is really good practice to wake up in the morning and to have energy for the whole your day. Maybe you want to do this practice in the evening if you feel like your body tired and you feel like you're in the cage of your muscles. It's really good because first of all, we're gonna warm up and then stretch. This is the optimal uh, sequence. Yeah? If you will want to stretch something, we should uh, work on this area first, the principle of yoga, of course. So, I invite you to this practice, you don't need anything. If you usually use blocks, of course, you can take it. Um, you need just mat and your body. So, let's start with the, put your legs in front of you and shake a little bit like I usually do, because we're sitting, maybe rotate a little bit inside, outside, like this. On your heels, you can bend your uh, knees a little bit and from one side to another. Mm -hmm. uh, palms behind your back and put your uh, legs on your heels. Bend it at 90 degrees, knees and one knee down another. Just a little bit like this. Flex your feet like me. One, a glute will want to lift up, it's okay. Maybe you want to put your knees on the floor and stay here a little bit, you know, a little bit side to side with your hips. Just feel what's happening in your thigh and another knee down. And again, a little bit side to side, gentle because this is a sensitive area. Okay, lift your knee and knee, feet together. Unbend and bend your knees, like you are going to do Paripurna Navasana, the boat pose. We just now wake up our thighs, so try to sit on your sitting bones. Lift your chest up. Maybe you already feel your lower back and your sides. It's good. Mm -hmm. And now cross your legs. And now, uh, any legs in front, it's okay. Grab your knees, and inhale, open forward, exhale, open back. I really like this clear to start the practice. Close your eyes, move your shoulders. Like a wave going forward and a wave going back. Open chest, open back, chin to chest. And now we're going to make a circles with your chest. Inhale forward, exhale back. Like um, you're trying to stretch the skin on your chest from there all sides and to another side. Breathe, please. Relax your hips, relax your glutes, relax your belly. Mm -hmm. Stay in the center and again, palm behind your back, looking forward, feet in front of you, knee and feet together, and again, straighten, bend. Try to sit on the sitting bones, tall, chest up, and change your cross leg position again. Open forward, open back. We're doing really fast. Not that much people have a lot of time in the morning. Maybe you want to wake up fast. 
give yourself movement. Move with the breathing. And you're going forward. Shoulder blades together, going back. Shoulder blades wide. And now circles, one side, like a big circle with your chest. Again, breathe, breathe, inhale forward, exhale back, and to another side. Relax your face, your, your face muscles, your eye muscles. Okay, stay in the center and pause behind your back again. Pause. Uh, fingers looking forward again. Knees in front of you. They're together and unbend and bend again. Flex your feet. Sit on the sitting bones. Not on your tailbone. Mm. And. Four point position, please. Palms under your shoulder joints, knees under your hips. Uh huh. Uh, fingers very wide from each other, and now from this, push yourself away from the floor with your shins, with your palms, with the back of the feet, so you feel like. You want to be far from your mat and go forward and back from here. Stretch the mat with your palms from each other so you feel that you have a lot of space between your shoulder blades here and the circles. And again, it's really good if you will gonna, gonna be pushing yourself from the mat. You will gonna feel your lower back, you will gonna feel your core muscles and on the other side, so, push the floor with your shins and the back of the feet. Okay. Stop here in Marjoriasana. Inhale, open forward. Exhale, loop, open back. With the inhale. Pull the floor with your palms. With the exhale, push the floor with your palms. With the inhale, you try you know, to reach to the back of your head to your tail. <laughs> Imagine that you have a tail and tail going to your back, to your back of the uh, head. And with the exhale, your forehead, try to reach your pubic bone. So the inhale, exhale. Inhale, tail, try to reach back of the head. And for the exhale, pubic bone, try to reach your forehead. Mm -hmm. step, step in the middle and the knee together. We start with the leg, uh, left leg. Left leg back with the inhale. Again, we will going to repeat the same thing we're doing, but with the leg. With the exhale, round your back. The inhale, open forward. Exhale, open back. Try to reach with your knee, your forehead. And with the forehead, try to reach your knee. Push the floor away from you with your palms. Uh -huh. Stay in the center, bend your knee and the pure rotation with your left hip. Big circles. Try not to move your, your chest and another uh, side. On the hip. Uh huh. Left knee on the floor. Now le uh, right leg back with the inhale open. The exhale round your back. 
Inhale. The exhale, try to reach with the knee or forehead. Push the floor with the palms, with the left leg. You can do it more fast like me right now. Sometimes we're doing it slowly, sometimes fast. But now it's morning, we want to wake up. And now stay here in the middle, bend your knee and the few rotation with the right hip. Push the floor with your palms, stretch the mat with your palms from each other. And outside, breathe. And right knee on the floor. Now, sit on your heels and spread your knees wide. Left palm behind your back and lift yourself up with the inhale, open, exhale, going down. Now right hand back, the inhale, open, down. And continue like this. So keep in your mind that you are opening up with the inhale. And one hand help you to stretch the side. Inhale, open. Push yourself up with your glutes. Okay, and down. Okay, down knees again together and go into the four point position and plank pose. My favorite. <laughs> In every my practice, I have a plank pose. Okay, and again, stretch. Uh, your mat with your palms from each other and your pelvis going down but your sides going up you put your uh, heels like on the wall behind you feel like this and again feel like your mat like push your away like a magnet you know like you can reach the floor with your chest you are super high and gentle forward back just shift a little bit it's a really good posture just to wake up super fast. <laughs> Another Mukashvanasana. Now I'm facing dog. I know that you already want to move something, so move. Push the floor with your palms, make your arms so long and now pedaling a little bit here. Relax your neck so your head is just hanging here down. If you want to close your eyes. And now the opposite with your palms. Your palms are moving to each other here. And you're going to feel much more strength in your back. So you make two moves with your palms. They are push the floor away. And at the same time, you are like moving your palms to each other on the mat. Now this move, knees almost touch the floor, you sit down on your heels and plank pose forward. A few times like this and all the times your palms pushing you away from the mat. So super long arms, I call it. Long arms, wide shoulder blades. Okay, now sit down in the combat position, open and down facing dog. And a few times like this, sit down, open. Feel like you open the back of your legs. Exhale. Push the floor with your palms. You feel like you keep yourself high from the mat. Okay, stop. And feet together. Perfect. Right leg up. Push the floor away. And from here, plank pose. Knee to your nose. Lift yourself higher. And again, down facing that. Right leg up. And continue. And again, your hand super long. You keep yourself high from the floor. Maybe, if it's possible, keep your left leg straight. Mm -hmm. 
right leg up bend the knee and open right hip without opening your chest so uh, right knee trying to go up to the ceiling but your chest going down yeah don't open with your chest to the right try to put the left heel on the floor if it's possible keep the left leg straight again plank pose knee to chest and step between your palms lay down on the right thigh and from here going up flex your feet look on your left leg going forward look forward a few times like this is not necessary unbend your right leg completely just a little bit here feel the back of your right leg Okay, going forward, left knee on the floor and the back of the feet also. Bring your palms on the right thigh and pose here. Lift your chest up, we want to keep it open. You know, this is called the Anjaniyasana, it means like the new moon, the shape of new moon. The half, yeah, the half of the circle. Keep here and just melt down with your pelvis, with the left thigh. Okay, and your hands up. Elongate your sides through your hands and twist to the right. Left elbows over your right thigh and namaste here. Just easy twist. Elongate your spine. Collar bones wide apart. We're gonna stay here just a little bit. Put the breathing. Fix your gaze in front of you. It will gonna help you to be stable. And again in the middle, raise your arms up. Open and bring your palms on the lower back. Fingers up, open more. If it's okay, or if it's not okay, don't do it, just to bring your palms on the floor with the inhale. Open more, with the exhale, release, palms on the floor. Left knee up and step back to play pose and down facing dog. Again, bring your feet together and the left leg up with the inhale. But exhale, plank, knee to chest, and continue like this. Inhale, exhale, push the floor away with your palms again. I will not go to try to repeat it all the time. So important. So, down facing dog, left leg up, bend the knee and open left side of the pelvis but left knee go into the ceiling but your chest go into the floor don't open yourself to the left so maybe a little bit left armpit you want to bring it more down right heel close to the floor straighten your right leg and plant knee to chest, step between your palms, lay down on the left thigh and pelvis up, flex your feet and forward. A few moves like this, we're just warming up legs. Energize them. And going forward, right knee on the floor and the back of the feet also. Palms on your left thigh, lift yourself up and pose here. Bring your chest up, open. You always feel like you're opening and opening and opening. You see, I have the eyes here. <laughs> it's called the eyes of the chest. I always say that these eyes, they always look up. The eyes of the chest, the eyes of the heart, open up and rise your 
Arms up, stretch your sides. Wow, so good. And twist to the left, right. Elbows over the left thigh. Namaste here. And we're gonna stay just for a little bit here. Hmm. Fix your gaze. Breathe. And always a little bit rotate to the left. A little bit more. A little bit more. And again, go back to, uh, to the center, rise your arms up and the palms on the lower back, fingers up. Open more, support your lower back with this move. Melt down. Okay, and palm on the floor. Uh, in this time, this time we're gonna rotate ourselves to the long side of the mat and the feet looking uh, different sides. So, and we're gonna just go from one side to another. Feet on the floor. You can help yourself with the palm. Push, push away your inner thighs, stretch your hips and to the another side wow i really like these moves and i like to support myself with the one hand but it's on you if you want or maybe you don't want Perfect. Stay in the center. Okay. Uh, feet looking forward. Bring your palms on your lower back, on your hips, and lift yourself up. Okay. Well, uh, looking to the long side of the mat. And from here, right foot look forward and the left just the halfway there mm -hmm. your hands on your this uh, bones <laughs> the pubic bone and uh, you just from here touch the ceiling with the crown of the head and now bend your right knee and the thigh is parallel to the ground left knee uh not don't bend left knee left leg straighten and the arms parallel to the floor, it's a Virabhadrasana, the second. Push uh, the floor with your feet and the weight of the body on the outer edges of the feet. Elongate your arms from your chest, look to the right. And straighten right leg. Change the side, left leg, looking forward and the right uh, feet, it's halfway there. Then your left knee going down, left thigh parallel to the floor. Push the floor with your feet, lift arch of the feet, arches. And straighten, perfect, palms. So your hips again lift your chest and going forward like we're trying to elongate the front body push your pelvis back lift your chest and going down Kasarita Padatanasana and again palms in front of you and the feet look are looking to different sides and again, side to side. Move side to side. Just relax your legs. And go into the front of your mat. Step back to a plank pose first, just for a second. And Adho Mukha Svanasana again. We're gonna stop here for a little bit. From here. 
Put the mat with your palms to each other and bend your elbows a little bit, but don't touch the floor. You bend your elbows and the elbows are going to each other. So you're gonna feel your back really good here and unbend. And a few times like this, bend, straight. Doesn't matter if your heels high from the floor, look like me. It's totally fine. Focus on your chest, focus on your back. The upper body is working here, really like this moves. And stop here, bring your knees to the floor and the back of the feet also. Going forward with your palms and make a straight line between your palms and your pelvis with the, maybe I can say with your uh, tailbones, a straight line. So, and now push the floor with your palms and bring your palms, like trying to bring your palms together. They're going to each other, but they don't move, yeah? And from here, pulls a little bit, but only in the shoulders. Only in the shoulders. Knee pushing the floor, palms pushing the floor, and you are just pulls here, down, up, down, up. Mm -hmm. Stop here. Uh, left palm next to you, and bring your head to your right, bring your head to the right hand, to the right shoulder, and push down the whole right side of your chest, the right armpit, the right side, and now left, left, uh, like, sorry, arm forward. Bring your head to the left shoulder. Okay. Come back to center, sit down and legs in front of you. Uh, take your heels from under you. <laughs> I'm already a little bit high. <laughs> I don't know how are you, but I hope good. So bring your right uh, feet, uh, foot next to your left knee. Bring your chest up and the left elbow over the right knee, twist to the right, look back, so good, suck in your lower back and the whole your spine, and come back to center, right leg in front of you, left feet next to your right elbow or right knee sorry and a right elbow over the left thigh look back make a twist and again touch the ceiling with the crown of the head suck your lower back in mm -hmm. and come back to center left leg also forward perfect bend knee a little bit and grab the back of the knee here and yeah, the hamstrings and lift your chest up lay down on your sides maybe you want to grab your feet okay relax here relax your neck relax your belly if you need, bend your knees more. Just let yourself actually go in deeper. Mm. 
and pounds on the floor, push yourself away with the super round back, straighten your arms, round, round back and the vertebra by vertebra, lift yourself up, perfect, and the palms behind your back, feet on the floor, uh, pelvis wide apart, lift your pelvis up, and down a few times like this, push the floor with your palms, with your feet, and a stretch mat with your palms and the feet from each other, elbows looking back, trying to reach the ceiling with the, our belly. Perfect, go down. Mm -hmm. Cross your legs. Take your glutes from under you, close your eyes, push your thighs with your palms, sit tall, relax your arms now, your palms, your face, relax your belly, relax your legs. Even inhale, grow. Exhale, release. Observe your body and now I invite you to feel yourself like a whole piece, like a space. Feel your skin like a border on your body. Observe your breathing. Feel how, how the air go inside with the inhale, with the exhale going out. How physically your, uh, the air is touching your nose. Feel how your chest is getting bigger with the inhale and extend to all sides with the exhale, release. Like a bubble, your ribs extend from each other on the back, on the side, on the front chest. And feel your belly also moving with the inhale, fill with the air, and exhale empty. And just feel how the whole body is breathing. Bring the whole attention inside you. What do you feel? What's changed? Feel the gratitude for yourself for this practice. And I feel gratitude to all yoga teachers, to all yoga teachers in this world. That spread yoga, that spread knowledge. And make a deep inhale and exhale. Open your eyes. On that side. Thank you so much for this practice with me. I feel also gratitude to you. Thank you for being here in my space to create a space with me. And I invite you to make Shavasana if you have time. Uh, and 
subscribe on my channel i'm really happy to see you here new videos every week see you Thank you.